Okay, welcome to Rick's Corner. I got Rich Piana back, and we're going to go on to a new subject today that we haven't touched on, and it's something that people ask about and something that everybody has or they don't have. Yes. <laughs> and hopefully you're one that does. It's genetics. And genetics play a big, big part in your body's growth, the shape, and how you look. I mean, there's people that just stay fat all the time, there's people skinny all the time, there's people that are muscular all the time, they touch the weight and they grow. So that's all based on genetics, not based on drugs. So we were talking about this, and you were saying that somebody will see somebody really well built and they say, ah, oh, they're on the juice. And they're yeah. not. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, people don't understand how important genetics is. Genetics is everything when it comes to everything. If you're a basketball player, a football player, a fighter, right. a bodybuilder, whatever it is, genetics is going to be the main thing of, you know, how good you are at what you do. Right. Genetics is everything. I mean, if, you know, if you're five foot two, you're not going to be a pro basketball player because right. you were not born with the genetics to do that. And there's people that are not born with the genetics to be a bodybuilder. That's right. And it's just not going to happen. You know, no matter how much drugs you take, what you do, how long you work out, it's not going to happen. There's other guys that can go in the gym and talk and barely work out for half an hour and, you know, they just grow. Well, you see people in the gym that have been there for years. We see them in our gym. They've been there for years and years and years. They've got trainers and year after year, they never change. They look the same. A lot of that is genetics, but a lot of it also is their diet, of course, because they're not eating properly. They're not training right. But if they did train right and they did follow their diet properly, they would make some gains, but they wouldn't make the massive gains that people do that have good genetics. Yeah. Like, for example, good calves are genetic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, genetics is so important and people, you know, just don't understand and they see someone and they have to say something about that person to make them feel better about themselves, you know, which right. is always the case. Right. And, so um, like they say you're on synth all the time. Yeah, or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have personally known guys that have an awful diet and they don't work out very hard and they look amazing. Yeah. And I've known other guys that, you know, they bring their ice chest, they have eight meals packed every day, mm -hmm. they're taking every drug under the sun and they look like shit. Exactly. You know? And yeah. they have body fat and I'm like, they work out two hours a day, they do cardio, they're eating a strict diet. How is that possible? Right. You know, and then other guys I see eating Doritos and drinking whatever and not eating regular meals, you know. Cheeseburgers and fries. Yeah, yeah. and they just have amazing genetics. You yeah. know, we're just, you know, they can't, you know, it's, there's just people out there that are like that. And uh, people have to accept it and understand, you know, that it is possible. It know? is possible. And then, and then your metabolism plays an important part. Uh, you have certain genetics, but then you have either a fast or a slow metabolism. So the fast one's going to burn up fat, the slow one's not going to. But you can kind of alter that a little bit, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, everyone wants what they don't have. And, you know, yeah. for, for me, the perfect scenario of a bodybuilder, in my opinion, would be someone that has a very fast metabolism mm -hmm. and is naturally skinny and has small joints. And most people would say that doesn't make sense. It seems like you'd want someone who has a slow metabolism and puts on muscle and is a big guy to begin with. But in bodybuilding, it's all an illusion. So the smaller the joints, right, exactly. the bigger the muscles look. When you have a fast metabolism, you can eat as much as possible, and all you do is get bigger, bigger, bigger. You never get fat. You know what name comes to mind when we say that? Frank Zane. Yeah, I mean, there's a million names, you know, that, of guys that, you know, Flex Wheeler. I mean, they just have these little tiny wrists, little tiny elbow joints. Yeah. They eat whatever they want, you know, and they just, all they do is get bigger. Yeah. You know, and people that have a naturally big body to begin with and big joints, they have to get that much bigger to look big, and also, right. they have to watch what they eat 24-7. Otherwise, they look blocky. Yeah, yeah, you know, and so if you're one of those guys that, you know, sends me a message and you say, you know, I can't gain weight, I'm eating, you know, six, seven times a day, like, you don't understand that you are blessed because your only problem is you have to eat more. Yeah. And if someone told me, Rich, you got to eat more, I'd be like, yes, let's do it. I'm ready to eat What if I like to eat. What if you're not hungry? I, I, I'm always hungry. I mean, it's not, I, no, I don't even no, have I'm to be saying, hungry. I want to eat even when I'm not hungry. There's people out there who can't eat. They just don't have the appetite to eat that kind of food. Um, are the supplements, the drinks, going to make up the difference? Yeah, um, honestly, my opinion to that is they have to they have to adjust their attitude and they have to just do whatever it takes, you Force know. Feed. And you know, there's people that you know they just can't go to the gym because you know they just too tired from work. You yeah. know, well, I don't have an answer for you. My answer is, you know, get your ass to the gym and stop making excuses. You know, okay. same with eating. I can't eat that much food. You know, well, you're not going to be what you want to be. You know, and don't sit here and complain to me and everybody else about how you can't do this and you can't do that when you're not willing to do what it takes to do it. You yeah. know, if I say, hey, they say, hey, you know, how do I, what do I need to do to gain weight? You need to eat 10 meals a day. Oh, I can't eat 10 meals. Then why are we talking about this? Yeah. Don't ever bring it up to anyone else again. Don't ever, <laughs> don't go to the next booth, yeah. you know, and ask the next guy, hey, 
how do I gain weight? Because that's what they do. They go around, they ask people the same question instead of just fixing the problem. I needed 10 meals. All right, fuck it. Tomorrow I'm on 10 meals. Yeah. And it's, not, it's also a lot of So I can't afford to eat like that. You can find ways to eat like that. You can buy tuna fish cheap enough, you know, and chicken breast. Yeah. There's, there's always a way. There's always a way. If there's a will, eggs. there's a way. That's right. And the other thing is, is that when they're in the gym and they're training hard, now if they have genetics, they don't have to train as hard. Obviously things just happen. If you don't have the proper genetics and you have to train hard, you can also train so hard that you overtrain and you still don't make any gains. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to be smart with, you know, the choices you make. And, you know, you got to take people's advice. You know, mm -hmm. if you ask someone their advice and you trust them, you know, and they look like they and sound like they know what they're talking about, you need to, you know, take that advice and put it to use. Um, with genetics, uh, I just want to talk about natural training for a minute. Training without drugs and you have good genetics, you're, you can still achieve a good body. You don't have to be on the juice to achieve a good body. Yeah. Um, real quick, there is a gentleman that trains at North Hollywood Golds. In the mornings, you know who he is. Um, he has a great goatee. He travels to Hawaii a lot. Big, biggest triceps you've ever seen. Probably bigger than mine. Tattooed. I know you know who he is. Can't think of his name. I don't really want to expose who he is. I can't place him. But uh, anyway, um, I've talked about this guy before. He's he, a bodybuilder. He's not a bodybuilder. Um, he did time. He did. He did about. Oh, I know who we're talking about. Sure. And yeah. while he was in there, and when he got out. People, when I say, I have wrote this on Facebook and people will never believe this for the million years, but when he got out, his physique was better than anyone I've ever seen in my life. I mean, 28 inch waist, mm -hmm. 23 inch arms, mm -hmm. and he's like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, mm -hmm. I mean, unbelievable. The biggest triceps I've ever seen. Like people, you know, say Rich, his triceps are huge and, you know, synthol and this and that. Whatever you want to say about my triceps, this guy has bigger triceps than me. And the point of the matter is he's never taken a steroid in his life. Never, no. He used to drink a lot of milk. Never took a steroid in his life. When you're locked up, you don't have drugs, you don't have protein right, powder, you right. don't have this. And he trained chest and arms every single day That's for 20 thing. years, and he came out a monster with no drugs. That's the thing. His workout is very simple. And guess what everyone said he's on when I put this? That's impossible. No, it's not. That's impossible. I know you're talking about. That's impossible. I've, I've seen him work out a little bit of these and some push-ups here and a couple of bench presses and inclines, and that's all he does. He doesn't do. He doesn't even work legs. It's unbelievable. Yeah, his genetics are just. Yeah, fucking he's, unbelievable. he's lost weight recently. He had surgery, a back surgery, but he was always like around 260. A really nice guy, and um, he has the prison workout. So he'll go stand against the wall with dumbbells and curl, and then he'll do triceps against the far wall, away from the dumbbell rack. Yeah. it's like being out in the yard in prison. And I, I said, you're doing a prison workout. Oh, yes, I'm just what's what I'm used to. But he has a, does have amazing arms. And Unbelievable. He, everything when, looked good. When I was when I first went to Golden Hall, I was 18. Yeah. Within three days, I came walking in the gym. He came walking out of the gym with the shirt off. You know, just walking yeah. through the gym with the shirt off. Didn't yeah. give a you know a shit about anything. And I saw him, and I was like, what the fuck is that? And I had seen you know I've seen my share of big guys. You yeah. Know, Vic Richards. I've seen all these guys in sure. person. I saw him, and I just I was starstruck. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> And then the next couple of days, I would watch him train, yeah. you know, and just watch what he did. And he wasn't really doing anything that, you know, no. that was something I didn't know or whatever, no. but it was just his sheer genetics that he just, it was unbelievable. And his strength. Yeah. He'll go in there and he'll put 405 on the incline bench and he'll just rep it out like nothing. Yeah. No drugs. No drugs. He doesn't do much. I mean, do the inclines, he do bench press, do triceps, come curls light curls and that's about it i don't even see him do much on shoulders but he has them and then they go sit on the treadmill for an hour and talk to somebody yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it's just yeah this guy's amazing yeah it's just pure genetics and he's not a youngster he's probably 50. yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah you know and you think about now what if this guy was on juice yeah you know i know the people out there right now are thinking in their head that's impossible you know because it's not impossible if you can't achieve it then it can't be achieved well he told me last year he says he used to talk to me all the time about his diet he says man he says i drink like three quarts of milk a day i'm always drinking i gotta stop drinking milk i'm getting fat and he was smoothing out a little bit and he was drinking a lot of milk i said just cut the milk he said, i can't man i love milk you know and it's just like one carton after another but maybe that's what made him grow like that i know back in the days i used to drink like three quarts a day back in the 60s mm -hmm. and then the guys at the beach were drinking full quarts of cream because they wanted the fat from the cream and the protein yeah it's a different type of diet that's uh, vince Durant's diet a real Blair yeah but it uh, for that time it worked but nowadays I wouldn't do that yeah so genetics is something you either have or you don't I mean some guys have huge biceps some guys have huge calves other guys got these big round delts so they have nothing else and I was uh, cursed to have thick abs so when I work them they get even thicker <laughs> and I don't like them because it makes me look fat and it's just one of those things that grow on me yeah and, you know whatever whatever you're given you know is god take take away and god you know god give it god take away so yeah. you know you're not gonna have everything you know no. so it's like you know you have to accept that there's always going to be, be people out there better than you right there's always going to be someone better looking 
better body, right. bigger, faster, stronger, you know, more successful, whatever it is. And the truth of the matter is, is, you know, you want to learn from the people, you know, that are better than you. Right. And just be the best you you can. And there's always going to be someone better. And don't put other people down for being better. You'll <laughs> learn from them. Just <laughs> admire them and raise the bar higher, right? Exactly. All right. Thanks, Rich. That's uh, on genetics, and we're going to come back next week with some more stuff on our other subjects and other subjects and other subjects. So he will be back. Now, you guys say uh, more Rich Pion. I went down to Muscle Beach today. I did the Memorial Day thing, and I did a walk around. Someone commented, we want to see Rich. I have to do other stuff once in a while because people request it. So, you know, if I have other stuff on the other people, it's only because I'm trying to expand my horizons. So if I have a doctor and we talk about gynecology next week, it's because there were a lot of openings in that field we need to discuss. Yeah. Right? I don't take offense, Rick. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Rick Conner. Rich, thank you very much for being here. Oh, it was great. And uh, we'll have more in the near future. For sure. And we have a pose over there. <laughs> <laughs> My dog. Yeah, hilarious. Bye-bye. Don't forget to buy your original Gold Gym t-shirt with my signature and the World Gym Gorilla with my signature at bodybuilding.com. Buy it now before they run out. It's rickdrayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.